Hello, my name is Kendall and welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Kendall. As many of you know, social media has a huge, profound impact on people, especially the youth, causing things like depression, anxiety, eating disorders, and so on. These issues are very, very real, but it's not even where the problems end. Internet challenges have become extremely dangerous, and it's something that many people look over the severity of. Increased FOMO, feelings of being left out and excluded, doesn't help this issue either. The challenge I'll be going over today is called the Benadryl Challenge, and it went viral on TikTok. And before I get started, please be careful of what you watch, what your kids watch, and how it affects you. Let's begin. The Benadryl Challenge started back in 2020 and consists of people taking double the daily recommended dosage at one time. You may be wondering why anyone would want to do a challenge like this in the first place and my first assumption is simply for the thrill but the main reason is to get high now getting high off of something like cough medicine is nothing new it has always posed a risk to people's health and is why places like walmart and other markets have age restrictions for purchasing those type of items even if the item is inherently made for children now, regardless of how common these actions occur, overdosing on over-the-counter medications is extremely dangerous, especially Benadryl. It can cause effects such as hallucinations, heart problems, seizures, comas, and even death. During this video, I won't be showing any photos or videos or clips of anyone doing this challenge simply because of how truly disturbing it is. But I will explain how it would feel or how it might look to experience the symptoms of the overdose. To start with the hallucinations. The specific hallucinations many people report is called Alice in Wonderland. Those affected will see objects smaller or bigger than what they really are. Perception gets warped as the line between what is close and what is far is blurred. This can especially lead to dangerous situations. Another symptom is an arrhythmia, which is an erratic, too fast, slow, irregular heartbeat. Imagine having shortness of breath and the pain in your chest just gets stronger and stronger as you become dizzy, making it difficult, if not impossible, to walk. Experiencing or even seeing these symptoms is extremely terrifying. And for some people, they went through it and more. I will tell you a story, a story of a terrible event where somebody went through this. Story of Jacob who sadly lost his life to this challenge. I don't wanna mistell any facts, but from my understanding, Jacob did this challenge with his friends when he proceeded to take 12 to 14 pills. Soon after he started seizing up, things took a very dark turn very quickly. While his family and friends were anxiously waiting for his recovery, his body just couldn't handle it all. From what his family said, it all happened at once. And after being at the hospital, they said, no brain scan, there was nothing there. They said we can keep him on a vent, that he could lay there, but he will never open his eyes, will never breathe, smile, walk, or talk. He was only 13 years old. He loved football, listening to music, and hanging out with his friends like any normal teen would. After six days on the ventilator, his family sadly had to say goodbye. A very real person whose life was taken by an internet challenge. There have been other reports of a 15-year-old girl who also passed away from this challenge from Oklahoma, and I could only imagine how many people have been hospitalized because of it as well. The internet has so many positive things, but simultaneously it has so many very real dangerous things. And it's so easy for it to be misunderstood or not taken seriously, which creates an even bigger risk for users of social media, TikTok, all these big platforms. It doesn't feel real that something like this could actually happen, but then again, social media is new to all of us. Its influence is humongous beyond what some of us can really honestly understand. And so many people have done things that otherwise they would have never imagined or thought that they would ever do. And to just put it in perspective, like we're all so young. I'm sure many of you guys are not in the 70 plus area. So we're all so young and we have so much life to live. But 
things like our life could just literally change as we know it from one simple challenge. The impacts of the Benadryl challenge is that it has died down, thankfully. When attempting to search up the challenge on TikTok, a warning screen pops up attempting to educate the users. This is great, but oftentimes social media doesn't catch up, doesn't act fast enough and stop these dangerous behaviors from happening before it ends up hurting someone. So please take care of yourself and take care of those around you. Take some time off of social media today. Take a walk, drink some water because we both know you haven't drank enough. It was lovely seeing you in today's video. I hope to see you in the next one. And remember, don't try everything you see online. Bye!